Josh, welcome to Bristol Rovers. You must be delighted to get the deal done nice and early in January. Yeah, obviously I'm delighted to be here now. Uh, it was quite a quick turnaround like from getting in. So obviously done my medical yesterday and then into train today. Um, but yeah, I'm just buzzing to be here. I just can't wait to get started and, and play some games. You've had a kind of a meet up with the lads this morning, got to know a few faces. How have you enjoyed your, your first morning with the lads? Yeah, yeah, it's been good. All the lads are, are spot on to be fair. And, um, they made me feel really welcome, which is which is great. So, you know, I'm just looking forward to kick for um, kicking on now and for the rest of the season, and hopefully, you know, we can do something good by the end of it. What was your main attraction for, for signing for the gas, and how did you know about the interest? <coughs> well, uh, obviously, my my agent told me that they was looking at um, getting something done um, as quick as possible, uh, and I, and then I literally straight away come up and met the manager. You know, and I spoke to him about what what his plans are and, and his ambitions, and and you know, it it matched everything that I want to do. So it was it was a no brainer really. And you know, I had a few other things going on as well that obviously could have happened. But I think as soon as I met up with him after that, the chat I had with him, um, yeah, I was sold straight away, and I and I was desperate to get in as quick as possible. There's a few faces already in the squad that you know from previous loan spells, the likes of Tom Davis and Johnson Clark Harris. So that always helps build relationships isn't it? Yeah it's a lot easier obviously coming in this morning and, and them two being here obviously who I knew from before and uh, making me feel welcome obviously introducing me into all the players and stuff like that and, and now you know obviously it's, it's my time now to to get on with everyone and, and, and speak speak with people and yeah and just kick on from here really. Describe yourself as a player what were your, your main attributes do you feel? I say attacking you know I'm very attack, attack minded uh, uh, I want to be aggressive going forward. Um, you know, create, score goals. Uh, you know, and but also, I want to. I want to work hard for the team. And uh, I'm, a, I'm a team player. I think, you know, for us to do anything for the rest of the season, you know, everyone has to be together as, as, as a team, and, and it's a big thing. So, I think that's, that's a big, big attribute and something that I'd look to, to bring in. You've got a good level of experience in the game, haven't you? Spent time at Reading, a few loan spells, and also time with the uh, Republic of Ireland and the youth setup as well. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I played uh, a lot of games with with Ireland from under 15s, 16s, right up to 21s. Uh, yeah, it's it's a good experience. It's something different. But you know, obviously, been at Reading as well for such a long time, and then and then obviously I had my le first loan spell at um, Coventry, which was a which was a massive learning curve for me, which really kind of made me out into into what I needed to be, you know, and, and, and taught me a lot of lessons. So for me, yeah, coming here now I feel I feel ready. I'm 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 ready to kick on now and and hopefully I can I can get started straight away and, and get in the team. There's a lot of positives obviously the fact being that there's so many games coming up in quick succession, you must be itching time to get the, the blue and white shirt on and get out there. Yeah definitely, you know, I'm excited now. Obviously there's a game tomorrow and then obviously another game Saturday, you know, it comes comes thick and fast so for me I'm just I'm just ready whenever the manager needs me to play you know I'm, I'm, I'm excited to get out there obviously both games are at home too so I look forward to playing in front of the, the home crowd so yeah I'm excited for it. A lot of games as we said are there between now and the end of the season have you set yourself any targets any kind of goal tally or assists you'd like to hit? Do you know what? Not really, because I I tend not to think about it too much. I think for me, goal scoring and 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 doing my my other side of the game going forward, it comes naturally. So I think just for me, just to concentrate on on doing the other side, working hard for the team, and 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 then I think all of that stuff comes naturally for me. So, but of course, it's a massive thing for me. I I, I enjoy scoring goals. I've always scored goals from from a from a young kid up up until now, you know. Um, and also assists and stuff like this. So for me, it's it's a big thing, and and it's definitely something I'll be looking to do. We've had a look through your show reel. There's a, a few lovely goals against Plymouth in there. They were, must have been highlights for you for over the past few years. Yeah, of course. Obviously, I've been at Reading for since I was like six years of age. So leaving there is like a weird thing, and and obviously making that like milestone of scoring in a professional game for them, and and you know playing a few games and stuff was amazing for me. And obviously, I'll always be thankful to them because they've they made me into the man I am now.